Hi, I am Sajjai Janal Bhaknavi, Assistant Professor, Department of Tripoli, Metropolitan University, SLED. Uh, today, I am uh, going to show you a device. This is a, a wearable device uh, which is for uh, visually impaired people. Uh, we see many of our visually impaired people use uh, stick for their, for their movement uh, or mobility. But this is not uh, uh, not really convenient. Uh, in, in in fact, uh, for uh, in when they are uh, hanging around in home, uh, if they use a stick to uh, for moving, is not really convenient. Rather, they should use a uh, smart device like this uh, obstacle detector. So, what is this? This is a very common project. Uh, we have used here a, a very very cheap solar sensor here then two battery two battery actually uh, one is up here and one is down here and uh, between these two battery uh, here is a microcontroller i i used here a 80 mega 3 to 8 microcontroller you can you guys can also use a microcontroller which is uh, 80 mega 8 uh, which is very very cheap because we don't need heavy processing uh, for this particular device so and 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 one thing is that there is a uh, voltage regulator IC because we we used here uh, two mobile battery mobile battery which is uh, more than uh, eight volt so uh, we need a, a, a voltage regulator to regulate this voltage to operate this the, the sonar sensor and microcontroller and uh, we also used here a, a, a vi mobile vibrator which is very important here. So what actually this device uh, actually how this device actually work? When we switch on, switch on, then if any obstacle uh, come over here in front of this sonar sensor, this device vibrate and this vibration is proportional to the distance of the object. So uh, when the things come closer, the vibration will be better. Uh, I mean, uh, in intensity of vibration and uh, and time interval of vibration is reduced. So, uh, the, so visually impaired people can understand uh, where the, where the obstacle and when they have cheated using this device, uh, they uh, should uh, they, they should learn how, how to actually detect object very precisely. And uh, this this device very low cost device uh, and. And, and its weight is so uh, so uh, small, so that they can wear it in their hand or or anywhere. And uh, I used here two Velcro. Now this is very interesting thing. Why I use two of uh, two Velcro uh, just for one device, and it's crossing just me me here. So uh, actually, if you if you wanna wear this device like this. You can you can wear like this, and you can scan uh, your front like this. If you don't want to use uh, in this axis, you can just just put this velcro over here, and then you you can switch another velcro so that you can scan right here. So this is uh, the device, and uh, I uh, I want some of uh, the uh, some of my closest. Uh, Visually impaired people, they use uh, this device and they say this is awesome. And after this, uh, I uh, just uh, I, I thought uh, I should make a video to uh, see you guys how this works. And I will appreciate if you guys make this device and and just help uh, visually impaired people. Although this is a very uh, very common project, but but people actually when uh, when most of the engineer making this uh, device, they make it, it large and uh, which is not really user friendly. My target was they make a device like uh, like it and make it very user friendly. So uh, now I wanna show you uh, some picture uh, how to make the, uh, how to make this device. Uh, I showed uh, some photos when I actually make uh, when I make this particular device uh, maybe three to four years ago uh, in, uh, when I was uh, in university. Uh, so uh, nowadays it's very common 
project and these all the parts are available available in produce shape or just uh, just hang around and you will find it it's all parts i'm pretty sure so let's see how to make it. Okay, now I will show you some pictures. The, those pictures were taken when I made this device. Uh, these, uh, those photos will give you a very brief idea how can you customize your uh, this device uh, for for your spe specification, uh, or if you uh, try to edit and make some uh, um, improvement. Uh, first, uh, here we can see. Uh, this is a vibrator and this is a battery. This was uh, actually a Nokia battery. You can use a similar mobile battery. Then this is a planning. Here is a vibrator uh, in the left uh, left side, 80 mega 328 microcontroller. Uh, this is a basic uh, plan uh, to see where you can actually place uh, various uh, uh, parts for uh, size management. Then then this is a microcontroller one side of the pin is folded uh, downward and one side of the pin is bent uh, 90 degree 90 degree uh, this is uh, actually uh, to maintain its size between two uh, between two battery uh, you can use actually smd component uh, uh, to compromise its size then this is the side view of the microcontroller. Then microcontroller is attached with battery and vibrator. Then uh, this is a crystal, 16 megahertz crystal with 22 pf uh, capacitor. This is a 1k resistor. Uh, then more parts is adding. Uh, then I remove tape from this vibrator uh, while I understood. Uh, this tape is not uh, necessary here and here is the uh, rectifier through which uh, this vibrator actually running this vibrator consume very low power so uh, you do not need any external uh, external uh, transistor or any driving uh, electronics then more parts being added then here is the left side this is the another battery i said uh, while i start this video then this is the 7805 uh, voltage regulator uh, again uh, um, i i think if you uh, made this device uh, in smd mode it would be better then uh, this is two side this is a capacitor for 7805 and then i replaced previous telephone switch with this uh, simple switch because this helps us to separate these two parts in uh, and uh, this will give you a very good support for to mount to battery then uh, i added some hot glue for security reason so that they will not short circuit it then this is the final uh, final product so i think you guys can make it very easily uh, and you can implement some of your own technique then i will show you the code although uh, code is very simple here is some global variable then uh, here is a serial begin uh, you don't need actually serial begin for your uh, final uh, implementation because it is just for test run uh, then uh, i will give you the link below so that you can uh, download this code uh, which would be better then here is the extra uh, capabilities uh, by which you can uh, calibrate or ad or adjust the distance from where this device device uh, should detect uh, object and vi vibrate. That is why uh, we use here analog read. Uh, so just with a 
10k potentiometer you can adjust the distance uh, from uh, from a start, starting di di distance from where this device start to uh, detect its object and the uh, and this device will uh, vibrate uh, proportionally and uh, to your uh, to the distance to the de detection distance so that uh, blind people can easily understand uh, and assume that this uh, the object distance so i think uh, this is a very easy code uh, uh, thanks guys for watching this video and uh, i hope this video will help you to uh, improve this device a lot and then you can uh, help visually impaired people by this device and uh, I think uh, if you use SMD component, this uh, this device would uh, be better. So thank you uh, for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share.